thing at part two, stupid phone. My phone had an advertisement pop up, and because of the advertisement popping up, my phone video, when I was videotaping, it ended. So I have to do a part two. That I hate doing a part two, but you know, what am I going to do? My, I'm going to take this off. Hang on a second. You're going to see ceiling for a wee bit. Uh, well, can you kind of see me? Oh God, my hair's going to look so bad now because I haven't pushed it out. Oh well. Yep, and this is what I look like before my hair gets pushed. Look like the blood of freaking Blake Frankenstein. <laughs> Anyways, um, not that this angle is any better, but my my towel <laughs> fell half. Whoa, my towel <laughs> fell half off because my dog was having a nightmare and making weird sounds, and I had to rush to his rescue and wake him up and tell him he was a good boy and everything was okay. So, <clears throat> doggy nightmare. So, like I said, you know, my, my grandma makes pretty good corned beef. And my dad makes the same recipe. So, I can't say his is better than hers or hers is better than his because it's equal. And uh, it's the best corned beef ever. But this place in Bartlett is like second from my grandma's corned beef. Because... Corned beef is kind of the luck of the draw, you know? It's like you're either going to get a good corned beef or you're going to get one that's tough. And you're not going to be able to, you know, bite it because it's going to be like biting rub. Um, so it really is luck of the draw. But, you know, being Irish, I'm kind of lucky. Not really. But, anywho. <laughs> um, hang on, let me turn on the light here. Okay, maybe you can see me a little better. Well, that kind of helps. Yeah, kind of doesn't, but anyways. Um, so, being that my dad's not here to make me a corned beef, and my grandma, because they're down celebrating St. Patrick's Day, I'm going to go to this bar or pub in Bartlett to see how crowded they are. Like I said, I do plan on taking it home anyways, but... My my ma called me a few minutes ago and said, hey, if you go there, make sure it's not a $10 fee to get in. And I'm like, what? $10 fee just to get in to get corned beef? Like, I'm paying $15 already for the mail. <laughs> like, it should be free to walk in there. But one, if it's packed, I'm just going to go probably do like Popeye's, to be honest. I don't mind eating chicken. Um, told my ma and my dad uh, to bring me back some corned beef anyways. So, if there's any left. But, um, that's my plan. Is to go to the pub in Bartlett, see how packed and crowded they are. Um, their corned beef is pretty good. It's not grandma's, it's not dad's, but, part, you know, second from them, that's the place to go for corned beef. Um, and pretty much what my dad and my grandma does is, um... They'll boil it, like, halfway. Like, they'll boil it, boil it for a few hours. Then they'll take it out and put it in, like, a baking pan. Like, a casserole pan, I guess, kind of. <clears throat> and they'll do a glaze of... Pretty sure it's, like, brown sugar, orange juice, and... Pretty sure there's something else in that. It's, like, orange juice powdered... Not... Nah, Orange juice and brown sugar. I swear we're going to put something else in it. But they'll pretty much make that. Scram scramble it up. They'll mix it up. And then like glaze it and rub it on top of the corned beef. And then cook it in the oven for a wee bit. And it comes out like caramelized. And it's like, oh, It's like you died and gone to heaven. It is so good. Oh, if only you could have it. If only can have it, but, um, so I'm going to try to go to that pub. If not, like I said, Popeye's would probably be my second option. Um, if not, maybe KFC. I don't know. I'm kind of hungry, though. thought about possibly getting, like, McDonald's breakfast, but I kind of really want more of a, and not that that's not a meal, 
But I was going to get, like, the hot cakes and sausages. <laughs> um, because that's what you should get. That's the only breakfast you used to get at Mickey D's. Um, no biscuit or any of that nasty, like, oatmeal. Even though oatmeal is good. <laughs> oatmeal is good. But, um, so I don't know. I'll have to see how it plays out. Uh, later on, though, definitely later on tonight, I will be getting a Shamrock Shake from McDonald's if I don't, if I go in on time. I don't know how much longer they're going to sell it for. Ooh, you kind of can see my widow's peak. My widow's peak isn't that big, but I do have a little bit of a widow's peak. What is that from, being Italian? I think a widow's peak is Italian, right? I don't know. I got to ask Sadie Moonster. Maybe he would know. I don't know, but, uh, they have a little bit, bit of a widow's peak. I can wiggle my nose, too. Anyways, so, I'm gonna let you go because I want to get going. Um, again, I want to wish you guys all a happy St. Patrick's Day. Please drive safely and responsibly. <laughs> drink responsibly. I know this is coming from an Irish girl, but I don't really drink. I don't do car bombs. I don't like Guinness. I don't... Bailey's are... Bailey's is okay. I only like homemade Bailey's that my Aunt Lisa makes. Um, and her last name is Mail. M-A-Y-O. And Mail is a county in Ireland. Um, and my cousin Liam is named after Liam Neeson. Because, um... Liam Neeson is my aunt's aunt favorite actor like she loves Liam Neeson that's Irish but anyways he's Irish and if anyone's wondering if Gerard Butler is Irish no he's Scottish he's from Scotland not Ireland and if people say oh it's close enough don't ever say that to my face because if you say that to my face well let's just say they might have a second boy for it Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but being Irish, Italian, German, Scottish, and Welsh, and being like four of those countries are tough, fighting, whip the necks apart countries. Come mess with. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, please be safe. Don't drink and drive. Because I don't want to have to pull up to that accident and light up the scene. Oh, um, you know, don't play with, play with matches because you're drunk and you think it's, you know, oh, let's play with matches. Don't be doing even that. Don't even do what I just did. That's my candle. Oh. Um, but yeah, so, wish I could say if you needed me, call me, but I'm not going to give my number out. Not about to do that. But, uh, yep. So, bye, y'all.